two options exist to add a scope to a design. The first one is to select a scope from the Scopes tab of an existing device. The second one is by adding a scope from the meters library into the design. To scope the node voltage to ground, use the voltage scope one pin. For the current, use the current scope and observe. These two scopes can be single phase or three phase. To measure the powers, there are two possibilities. When P or Q are in lowercase, the instantaneous powers are calculated. When P and Q are in capital letters, the powers are averaged over a cycle. When the scope name appears in the library as function of time, the meter is a probe. It measures an electrical quantity, the voltage for this example, and returns it through output control pins, which can be connected to a control circuit. A probe can also be used as a scope to visualize the waveforms. However, the signals will appear as control types in the visualization tools. Often, a base can be specified to visualize the signal in per unit. Be careful, remember that the base must be peak value for instantaneous currents and voltages. When a scope is enabled, the signal type is displayed in the description's attribute preceded by a question mark. For example, for a voltage, a letter V is added in the description attribute after the question mark. For a current, it is an I. For a power, it is a P. For flux, it is an F. And for a control signal, a S. In upcoming videos, we will explain in detail how to run simulation and plot the results. But for now, let's just go a bit ahead of ourselves to see the different scope type in scope view. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information or want to get informed when new content is released, please subscribe to our LinkedIn community and to our newsletter.